Hi guys, right, just the last video on this uh, Viair uh, 50 gallons per day RODI system. Um, as you know, we had a couple of uh, issues with the wrong filters being sent and then uh, a problem with the very cheap and nasty uh, mains uh, 50 mil pipe adapter. Uh, they've sent out another one. I'm just going to have a look down here. <coughs> if I can get to it. Here they are. That is now screwed to the wall and uh, the tap works fine and uh, the pipe is just pushed into the fitting in the top. Now Sean on uh, one of my subscribers uh, said that these, this sort of fitting isn't ideal and he's absolutely right and really the only reason I'm using it is uh, because I'm reviewing you know, what's supplied and sent out. Uh, so that's why it's being used. Uh, this particular tap came with that grey bit on the top and I've got a sneaky feeling it would actually screw directly onto uh, you know an isolation valve so you could well uh, use uh, uh, you know an isolation valve with a Y adapter and have whatever uh, you've got connected screwed into uh, that at the same time and run them off both off of the same valve. Uh, in my case uh, this is absolutely fine I can turn it off if uh, if required. Um, the drainage I have used their supplied fitting, which you can see there. I could have just pushed it in the top of the uh, standpipe here from the washing machine, but again, I'm reviewing you know what's supplied. Uh, all that involved doing was uh, just drilling a I think it was 6.5 mil hole through the pipe um, and clamping on the supplied fittings and uh, so that's all done just going to move this over a bit um, what you actually do uh, is once it's mounted on the wall is you unscrew and uh, fit the filter into here unscrew this one fit the filter and unscrew this and uh, remove the canister and then fill the canister with the uh, the resin now there's a rubber o-ring or silicon o-ring on all three of these canisters you must uh, just put the smallest you know the lightest smear of uh, silicon grease on that seal um, uh, these spanners are not just for show you might think you can do these up by hand and there'll be no problems but that's what I did and I did have a leak on uh, on this DI canister so make sure you just nip them up with the uh, the spanners and uh, you won't have uh, any issues at all. Uh, once you've assembled all of these uh, you need to obviously make the connections uh, water in and uh, the drain connections uh, which we've already covered and then what you have to do is as we discussed before you need to remove the blue clip pull this pipe out and uh, it's, it runs from here all the way down to the pump. You need to get a, uh, you know, a plastic uh, container of some sort and I used a uh, one litre Pyrex uh, jug and uh, what you will then do is holding that end in the jug you can turn the water on and turn the pump on and what that will do is allow the first two canisters to fill and uh, obviously you want them flushed so they're being flushed out of that pipe that you're holding in the uh, canister you know in the <coughs> Pyrex uh, jug. Uh, I flushed about probably 10 or 15 litres uh, you've got to make sure all the carbon uh, particles are clear of the uh, you know clear of the system you do not want them going into the RO filter here or into the um, uh, the DI one down there. If you do uh, let them go through, the life of the RO filter is going to be uh, much reduced. So after you flush these two uh, through that pipe for you know 10-15 liters uh, or more, it doesn't give you a uh, amount. It just tells you to keep flushing them until the water is completely clear and isn't grey and there's no carbon particles coming out in it. Uh, after you've done that you can reconnect this pipe back to the uh, RO filter here 
and uh, then uh, what I did is I turned the system off turned it back on again and it goes through an automated flushing process for about 20 seconds uh, and then it very slowly starts to fill this canister up uh, from the bottom upwards of course it was only when it got to here I realized well, a bit higher up to here top of the threads it was only then I realized I had a leak quickly turned it off and uh, nipped it up with the spanner a uh, couple of points to note uh, when you get the DI resin, or in my case, it came in a grey bag and then the resin itself was inside that grey bag in another grey bag. There is no flash packaging, uh, so be very careful when you're opening up the grey bags uh, because the inner grey bag you just need to cut the corner and start filling up uh, from the bottom. The instructions explain how to, uh, there's a plastic um, sort of sieve lid on the top. Uh, and uh, polystyrene uh, at the top and bottom. You must leave the polystyrene in place uh, and you must try and tap down the resin as you go along. Make sure it's, uh, it's fairly well compressed in there uh, all the way to the top uh, and then push the polystyrene and the plastic lid into place and, uh, and then reassemble it. Uh, so yeah, just bear in mind how the resin is supplied. Um, obviously I've already fitted the in and out uh, TDS monitors. Um, I've yet to cable tie that uh, bit down. So there's not really the holes there to easily tie, you know, cable tie it. Uh, you might want to cable tie various bits so there's no tension on these pipes. This one is hanging down a fraction, although it seems fine, but I might just bring it up and cable tie it in a more neutral position. Um, now it's running now, you can probably hear the noise. Perfectly reasonable, I've got no issues uh, with that at all. Uh, the I've just lifted that up now so you're not going to see much until it fills the pipe but that will focus there we go that's the sort of quantity that's coming out obviously it's not gushing out it's not possible this is a 50 gallon a day uh, unit uh, but for my small tank and my water uses this is going to be absolutely perfect it's probably been running for oops that's not going to focus probably been running half hour 40 minutes and uh, now it's beginning to fill up that 25 litre uh, drum. Okay. Uh, so the important bit is does it actually do what it says on the uh, on the tin? So if I just turn this uh, to in and uh, have a look at the TDS. Yeah, pretty high the uh, TDS uh, on the mains water is. Well, higher than I thought, but I guess that's normal. Uh, and then the important bit, switch it to out and we have a zero TDS so absolutely spot on uh, I wasn't sure whether we were going to get zero or uh, or not um, for the cynical you might want to swap the probes around and uh, just check <laughs> that the readings are the same uh, but uh, yeah other than uh, a couple of issues with uh, the wrong parts and bad parts being sent out I think this is uh, you know going to be a pretty good system um, you can connect it to a uh, you know float valve um, I don't probably in my case because I'm here pretty much all of the time I can just you know fill one RO up and one salt uh, and uh, you know that'd be absolutely fine um, I'm going to Probably, well actually I don't know whether it's going to go in there, I was going to use one of the pumps, uh, wave makers, you know the Kent Marine ones I've got left over and just drop it in but I'm not entirely sure it's going to go through that hole so it might have to make up, a, you know, might have to get another drum with a bigger top to do that so I was just going to drop the wave maker in there and the heater uh, to warm everything up as, come on focus, uh, you know as required. Um, I suppose most people have got more room than I've got here would have a great big drum of RO water uh, you know on tap so to speak as required but 
um, yeah so pretty good pleased with that uh, reasonably quiet we could certainly have that running at night if uh, if required don't think it's going to cause anyone uh, you know any issues um, Debbie said it would be it would have been nicer if it had some sort of cover you know over the top and I think she's absolutely right it would have uh, finished it off really nicely uh, you know just the cover coming up and over the top uh, everything runs cool motors cold power supply oh, just just feel a tiny little bit of heat there so it looks like the power supply isn't underrated or anything like that um, so yeah in the end I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that I can't think of any other tips that I haven't already uh, mentioned uh, of course you could if you wanted to tee into um, uh, the water coming out after the uh, RO stage uh, and use that as drinking water obviously you can't drink the water after it's gone through the DI stage um, but yeah it's not uh, not an interest for us but so that's it uh, hope that was useful hope uh, Vier actually start sending out the proper bits with the uh, with the kit and uh, I'll probably contact them and just say about that uh, that tap that they supplied originally and just say <laughs> suggest that they don't ever send those out again anyway that's the uh, first RO canister filling up nicely uh, expect that will be uh, a few more hours before that's done but I probably only need to make one or two up uh, at any given time for water changes and you know daily toppings up uh, so yeah catch you later thanks for watching